Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Aquarius. Aquarius, this is your weekly general reading. This is going to be for the 20th through the 26th of July, 2020. Please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading, you guys. Now I'm using the Fairy Oracle along with the Illuminati Tarot for your weekly general messages. So let's see what energies we have for you this week. Thank you, Spirit, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We are ready. Ooh, we've got hope coming up here. And this is a powerful message as well. Okay, and I'll read this in just a moment. Let me get your card shuffled and laid out, and we will dive in, okay? Thank you, Spirit, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What does Aquarius need to know? The 20th through the 26th. All right. One more shuffle. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Aquarius. Whew. We're taking that one. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising, and that one. Wow. All right. We've got flyers extra messages you've got the ace of swords okay with the five of pentacles okay you know what i'm getting right here you have clarity about a new door a new opportunity that's opening up for you and it's going to allow for you to come out of this energy of feeling that financial hardship lack okay um not having enough all right um, something's coming in here, Aquarius. And Spirit wants you to keep your hope, okay? Um, uh, keep a positive outlook, okay? Remember, you are a creator. What you think about and communicate, okay, is what you're going to create, all right? So if you want to create a new beginning that is going to have you know, financial abundance, stability, and security, then you have to, you have to be it. You have to think it, that you already have it. You have to talk like you already got it, and you got to claim it, and you got to believe it like it's already done, okay? And it will happen. And this is what's taking place right here. You're fixing to come out of this financial hardship and lack, and you have clarity about a successful new beginning, okay? And this is powerful because these two flipped out, one clarifying the other, um, you know, especially with the message here. I'll go ahead and read it, and I will not go back over it. I'll go ahead and read it now because it goes with this. Hope. Hope is always there, even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? You see this rainbow. Okay, there are opportunities coming your way. Believe it, claim it, it's yours, and you will receive it. Okay? Spirit is telling you. A new beginning is right here. Okay? You're fixing to shut one door and walk through a new door that is going to be the beginning of success, okay? Uh, prosperity, being able to uh, rebuild, okay, your foundation. That's what's coming through here. Thank you, Spirit. I got goosebumps. Woo! I got goosebumps, you guys. I love it. All right, situation. We've got the Six of Swords. In your foundation, we have the Ace of Wands. There it is. What's benefiting you this week is death, going through that transformation, rebirth, new beginning. I mean, all of this. Thank you, Spirit. This is amazing. Oh, my. <laughs> wow. I tell you what, if this is not synchronistic, I don't know what is. <laughs> okay? In your crowning position, you have the Ace of Pentacles. This is amazing. And your outcome energy, beautiful. Queen of Wands, boy. Yes. Feeling your, your uh, self-confidence. Believing in yourself. Having that go-getter energy. All right. 
um, taking action with passion. That's what I'm getting right there. Remember, hope. It's up to you, okay? If you have the tendency to have um, negative thoughts or communicating negative, speaking negative, turn that around, you guys. Turn it around. Because what, what you're doing is you're creating... You're creating that, you're, and that's chaos. You could be creating. You're, there's no telling what you're creating. It's going to come back around if it's negative. Okay, think positive. Change those negative thoughts. Write down affirmations. Slap them everywhere around your house, even in your car if you have to. Put them in your briefcase. Okay, put it in your wallet. Put it in your pocket, your purse. Memorize them. I promise you, you do this, you do this for one month, you're going to start to see positive change, okay? And things that are positive are going to start manifesting into your reality. Opportunities are going to start becoming available, okay? Uh, doors are going to start opening, I promise you. All right, so I went over the Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, so we're going to go ahead right here and current situation, Six of Swords right here, okay? Let me point out before I get started, we have the we have the number here, 111, 111, 111, okay? You guys, Google the angel number meaning to that, okay? There's going to be a message there for you. Now we have six of swords, all right? This is you. You know, you have been in some hard times. Uh, so you've been dealing with challenges, obstacles, okay? It's been difficult. You're moving out of choppy waters into smoother and calmer waters, okay? You're taking a leap of faith. Some of you may be moving, you may be relocating, or this uh, opportunity could require you to travel, okay? But I see it being something that you, you like something that you want okay now you have the ace of wands coming up here in your foundation this is what's driving you this week and look no wonder it's driving you here it is this creative new beginning okay something you have a lot of passion and desire for you know there's a promise here as long as you nurture whatever this is that it's going to bring you long-term success okay and it's really going to allow you and your creativity to shine okay people are going to admire you they're going to see your work you're highly skilled i feel like uh with what it is that you do maybe on a day-to-day -day basis this could be a hobby that you do as well or maybe something you do on the side you're going to get recognized you're going to get noticed okay and you're starting a new adventure here that's act that's uh packed with action okay and also passion all right so this is powerful a new beginning some of you are taking a creative idea and giving birth to it all right and bring it into your reality maybe it's a home business okay but you're doing it and it's going to be successful now you have death the energy of scorpio coming up here in the position of what's benefiting you i mean this is amazing You've got to let go of any baggage you've been carrying around, okay? Uh, it's time to release, purge, and get ready, okay? You don't want to um, shut the door on this cycle and walk through a, a new door and start a new beginning carrying baggage over from your last cycle. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure you've purged and re released and you've let everything go. So you can go through this huge shift, this transformation that's going to allow for you to transition into this new beginning right here successfully. This is rebirth. This is second chances. This is a promise, okay, of a new beginning that's going to be amazing. That's going to bring you out of that feeling of hardship, lack, okay. And you have the clarity that you need. You've got to believe it. Okay, speak it, claim it, and then here it is in your crowning position, what you know, what you're thinking about, the Ace of Pentacles. 
This talks about a new beginning of prosperity, reward for effort. As long as you nurture this seed, nurture this career, nurture this business, nurture this project, it is going to bring you financial success. Okay? Woo! I love it. This seed was planted, okay, by the divine for you to take action on. All right, Aquarius? Beautiful. And then, okay, and this is just amazing. Your outcome energy. Queen of Wands, whether you're female or male. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is that fiery, I've got self-confidence, I know what I want, okay? This is you taking this Ace of Pentacles and rocking it, all right, and doing the most with it, okay? You being the creator. You know, this is you taking action with passion. This is you not allowing anything or anyone to get in your way of you achieving your goals. This is successful energy. This is a, you know, an energy of an entrepreneur, Okay, this could be a teacher. This could be a mentor. I feel like people are looking up to you. They're respecting you. They're looking at your work. And they're just like, wow, okay. And you are believing in yourself. You have this self-confidence. You have a glow about you. Because you have taken something, okay. You've taken the idea, an aha moment, and you have brought it into your reality. You've acted on it. You took that leap of faith. Okay? And it's bringing you success. It's bringing you abundance and prosperity. All right? Powerful energies. This was a beautiful reading here. Get ready, you guys. If you've been feeling this Five of Pentacles energy, you're fixing to come out of it. And it's going to happen very quickly. Be ready for the shift. Be ready to purge and let go. Okay, amazing things are in your near future, all right? All right, Aquarius, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. And I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Aquarius.